and welcome back to another whiskey review with me, the Whiskey Novice, where it's still bloody freezing, so we're moving through these reviews pretty quickly. As you can see, wrapped up. Layers, it's all about layers, people. Layers and woolly hats. Uh, facial hair always helps as well. So, review number 217. N not a series. We're not we're not series, but just that recently, I seem to have been looking at quite a few peated whiskies. Maybe it's because it's cold, maybe. So a wee dram, a wee dram will warm me up. Uh, Lagavulin, eight-year-old. Lagavulin, eight-year-old. I've started to turn to this. Lagavulin 16, Diageo. Lagavulin 16 has started to creep in price, we've noticed for quite a while now. So here we are, January 2024. Uh, Lagavulin 16 currently sitting around that sort of £75 mark a bottle. Okay, okay, I, I'm going to play devil's advocate just for a moment, just for a moment. £75, still a 16 year old whiskey. This is something that I, every now and again, I, I do have to say, still a 16 year old whiskey. So in the scheme of things, for £75, it's around and about what most other people are charging for a 16 year old whiskey. The problem is, you know and I know, that couple of years back, not that long ago, really, Lagavulin 16 was about £45 a bottle. That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong with us. We 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 liked, we bought regularly Lagavulin 16 for £45 a bottle. Even whenever it crept to 50 55 still, yeah, all right. But then it just jumped, jumped in price. So we need, we start to look elsewhere. Well, I mean, I'm going to look at the Lagavulin 8-year-old... Same day as you, of course it is. But this is around that 50, 50 pounds mark. Eight year old whiskey, okay. But it's bottled at 48%. So, yep, they've given us something there. It's probably chill filtered. Do you know if they've added color to that? They haven't added a whole lot of color. This is uh, refill American oak, I think. Certainly American oak. Can't remember whether it's first fill or refill. Uh, but it's, you know, that's it's so clear. If you if you've, if they are adding color, and I know the as you tend to steer away from whether they add color, whether the whether it's chill filtered or not, I doubt there's been color added to this. But anyway, let's just get into it, shall we? Nutty, bright, and zesty. Yes, it is. And I'm going to suggest very typical lager, very typical lager villain that sort of tropically pineapple note tick yes C cleaner not boggy or wet damp fire cleaner smoky note tick yes that's which to me is something that i feel is, is as i said typical of lagavulin there's an, a slight almond or marzipan, I suppose, which come hand in hand with each other anyway. And even a slight artificially sort of bake a light note, which I know sounds strange. You heard me talking the last time, plastic buckets, this time it's bake a light. Ooh. And there is a, maybe even a little yeasty, I'm going to suggest. Maybe. But you know, it is nice. That's nice. Mm. Mm. Lovely. Oh, lovely, sweet and sour arrival. This is Lagavulin. I know they're Diageo, but I still think Lagavulin's fantastic. There's a, this is typical of it. There's just a real, even just that first sip, there's a, an incredibly creamy balance or something in there that it doesn't, there's nothing in this fighting with anything else. All that smokiness, all that clean smokiness plays hand in hand with that tropical pineapple citrus notes and 
sweet and sour all, all along. You know, it, it's it, there's a sharpness, but it, it works beautifully well with it. Oh. It has a bit of a youthful tang in that I'm going to suggest it's not as complex, it's not as soft and complex as the 16. But then the thing to remember is that the 16 is bald at 43%, I think. Um, Whereas this ball of 48, that's got that extra bit of pep with it. And that smoky, bitter smokiness just hangs around the back of the palette for ages. Into the, that finish, which is quite long, because, because it's a good peated smoky malt. And the citrus, sharper citrusy lime, uh, yeah, like chilli lime hangs about right at the very back. But there's enough still going on in, in your palette. To remind you of the, the that oh it's lovely. Remind you of that sort of smokiness and mm. it is lovely. And I'm going to tell you already that I replace this. I replace this as a as a go-to lagavulin, as an affordable lagavulin. If if they push the price of this up. They're just going to, to me, they're just going to do themselves out of the market. I, th I think it's going to happen eventually, anyway. I, I, I genuinely do. Lagavulin is just getting that little bit too expensive. But this is a good alternative to the 16-year-old. I, I definitely think it is. If you want that 16-year-old feel, if you want the Lagavulin feel, without having to pay the same sort of money for the 16, this is a good alternative. Um, yeah, this blossoms quite a bit with the addition of water. Those citrusy notes come out. There's a smoky, nutty, pine nutty uh, note off it. Uh, something. Distant notes of green apple. Yeah, definitely. palette remains tangy and bright the smoke is clean once again it's still clean but it's enough to, it's enough to drag any sweetness out of it and not become an over sweetened thing once again it's much more malty on the palate you can definitely taste that Dusty malt. Mmm. I, I, I really like Lagavulin. I mean, I can't hide it. It's just a shame the 16 crept out of the, out of that and they're into that price range that I just don't want to spend that sort of money on it anymore. Mmm. But I'll be quite happy to pay for this. Quite happy. Yeah. Still a good long finish. Still a good long smoky. Uh, tropical fruit sweetness. In that, and that, that dusty uh, malt note. Is actually in the back of the palate as well. Into the finish. Which I love. And it makes you want to go back in for more. And to me that's a bit of the youthfulness of it. It's a bit of the, the uh, distillery spirit. Shining through. That you can still taste that malty multi uh, spirit in there so yeah I do like it I will replace this while it remains at the price it's at there you go so what would I suggest then as an alternative if you'd like this then try this well I'm gonna have to, to do a bit of magic again because it's a bottle that shamefully I currently don't have in my uh, cabinets in my collection and it is this there you go and um, the electric 10 year old this was actually quite easy for me 
because I did a little blind, a little uh, blind thing recently. And I mistook this Lechik 10-year-old for this Lagavulin 8-year-old. So that's how I know that it's, it, for me, it's a decent alternative. I actually uh, was sipping the Lechik 10-year-old at 46.3%. Uh, typical distel and and I found myself the whole time thinking this is Isla this is either Kalila or Lagavulin and I plumped for Lagavulin in the end thinking it was either the 16 or the 8 year old or some iteration of Lagavulin Leipzig 10 year old a brilliant whiskey a classic whiskey I mean Tobermory Distillery really need to give themselves a pat on the back for, for the Leipzig whiskies for those peanut malls, love them, absolutely love them. So if and the electric ten year old will be cheaper than the Lagavulin eight, I still think you're looking around the forty five pounds mark for the electric ten year old. So if you're looking for a good alternative, or if you've uh, maybe you're wanting to know what the Lagavulin eight sort of feels like before you buy it, electric ten year old, simple, simple. Let's just shift that one out of the way. Uh, definitely. I would recommend the Lagavulin 8 year old as a good alternative for the 16. It's still got enough of the Lagavulin signature feel about it. Hmm. Definitely, there's definite nuttiness about it. Definite uh, maltiness about it, which I, I very much like. So we'll leave it at that. I'll say thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much to my patrons. Should you wish to join that group, the details are in the video description below. I'll be back next time. Until then, look after yourselves. Here's to your good health. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please click and subscribe to be notified of further content.